Morning everyone. Today's gonna be an interesting day. It just got done raining. It's been raining all morning, so we're getting uh, quite a bit of a late start. And it's supposed to uh, rain mix with snow later today. So I'm not sure when later today is, but that's what they're calling for. So today we're gonna be uh, picking up leaves again in a few yards. We're gonna be using uh, the 52 with the clamshell bagger because that's all we could get to fit in some of these yards and the DR just will not work in them. You know, I could use it there, but just not uh, um, easiest way to get around in there, I guess. So uh, let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Oh my goodness. Yeah, leaves are coming down fast. This one here will probably be all done by the first week in November. Yeah, it's uh, not good out here. Oh, stupid blinking thing. Um, we started on this yard and it started raining. And once we started on this yard here, we couldn't stop because it's a mess and we cleaned it all up. But uh, it is cold. It's 47 degrees according to my truck and we got about 25, 30 mile hour winds and rain. Feels like 37. Feels like 37, she says. Oh my goodness. So anyhow, I gotta believe this is the way the whole day is gonna be. And the rest of the week. And the rest of the week. I don't know about the rain stuff, but the cold stuff is here. So uh, we had one nice uh, warm day yesterday and now we're back to reality again. So uh, we're gonna continue on with uh, some smaller yards to get them mowed. I don't think there's any cleanup on them, but there's gonna be mowing on them. And then we're gonna get set up on uh, one yard we're gonna use in a um, clamshell bagger and we're gonna get a video there. So we'll see you at that yard. Okay, it just got done raining again. Okay, it just got done raining again and the wind's picked up to about 25, 30 miles an hour. So I'm gonna have to set the camera up low and we're gonna get started on this yard.
Okay, I'm awake now. It's uh, with that nice, cool, slight breeze of 20, 25 mile an hour and at 45 degrees. Yeah, it wakes you up real fast. I'm not frozen. I've been busy working. I've been out picking sticks and blowing leaves and mm -hmm. trimming. And... Yes, she was walking all over the yard trying to stay warm yep. and doing extra things, you know, prior trimming to the cleanup. Up, trimming up some tree bushes. So I was trying to mow things down as fast as I possibly could, pick it all up, because sitting on that mower, you get pretty cold really fast. So uh, we're gonna go check a couple more yards and see what we can do else. See what we can do else, see what else we can do today uh, before it rains on us again. Okay, uh, things are not looking good for us right now. We uh, just been driving around, looking for yards and nothing needs to be cut. We're waiting on leaves, so we just went through all of today's and we just did all of tomorrow's route is done already so we're gonna is it all uh, pretty much all of it so we're gonna go check out a couple more yards to see if they're ready but uh we might be stuck until leaves come down and uh and that's a mini break yeah, fix up equipment get everything ready to go yep so we don't know 
what all is going to happen here shortly. And I hate going out and driving around, but so we're not making the money we should be making, but there's nothing we can really do about it. And we always have this problem every year. We have a, like a week where we can't really do nothing. So um, if this continues on this week, I might be dropping off that uh, 52 out to the dealership to have them look at it and see if they can't fix it. Because we're gonna have a little bit of a break there. And we'll just make everything work with the other mower and the DR. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, we just uh, finished up another day. Uh, the yard's just, there's nothing growing. And we're waiting on the leaves to fall now. There's a few leaves falling here and there, but uh, customers don't want us to show up until the leaves are almost all down. And that's two or three weeks. We have uh, one big cleanup to do tomorrow. That's where all the yard with all the grass clippings are at. So we'll do that one tomorrow and uh, check out a couple more yards after that. And that'll be a short day again tomorrow. So uh, this time of the year, we gotta get everything back together. I just got off the phone with the dealership. They can't get that mower in until Monday to see if they can fix why it's still only run on one cylinder and why it keeps chewing up belts. Because uh, that Tiger Cat is going through a set of belts every two months, basically, is what it's working out to. Because I just figured out we've run that thing 12 months and I've gone through six deck belts. That's a belt every two months. All I know is I was running it yesterday and it was doing fine. And then all of a sudden I heard this loud noise and it was smoking and I thought, oh no. It kind of scared me there for a minute because I was smoking. I didn't yeah. know what was going on. So I should not be going through a deck belt every two months, but I am. So hopefully they can fix that problem too, which I don't know if they will or not, but I have never heard anybody going through a belt, deck belt, that many, or that many deck belts that often. So, you know, mowers just ridiculously having problems with it. So I don't know if it'll ever get fixed. I might just end up selling it if I can get into a different brand. I don't know. I'm getting real frustrated with Skag. So we'll see what happens next week. They're going to make room for us and drop everything to get us in there to see if they can't get it fixed. So uh, that is going to be the end of our video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a good night. See you at the next yard. Have a good evening. Have a peace be with you. <laughs> and all of the above.